Hey everyone, I wanted to talk about this tool called Smooth Draw that I use with my students and um, on while teaching them online and as well as while recording some lessons offline and then posting them on YouTube for my class to view later. So this is what the software looks like. First things first, it's not an online whiteboard. So you and your student can't write on it together simultaneously. It's just you typing and then you can share screen and your student can see what you're doing. So it's not an online whiteboard. So this is what the setup looks like. My favorite thing about this tool are these layers here. So I use this to teach math. So this is what my final setup look like. So let's say I'm solving question number eight for my class and I do part one here. And then, then I do part two over here and I run out of space. Now I need to clear the board. So I'll pl uh, press control D and only the uppermost layer will disappear. The rest, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing will stay intact. And then I'll go, if I need to move to the next question, I'll go to layer three and then I'll control delete the layer three only. That will only get rid of the question I've copied from my worksheet and not this here, this here and this here. And then when I'm done, um, and let's say I need to create a new board for my next lesson the next day I'll go to my layer 2 and now I'll press control delete and it will get rid of the date and the topic so that I can write a new one and then the last layer layer 1 or the first layer has my name on it and I like to cre keep it preserved I don't I like to show my name while recording the lesson so layer 1 stays unchanged and layer 2, layer 3, layer 4 changes every day according to my need. So let me show you how to set this whole thing up. So you just Google Smooth Draw and it will take you to its website and you will be downloading the current most version which at the moment is 4.14 once you have it you will get a setup like this so this is what it looks like once you've downloaded uh, smooth draw from the website it will create a desktop icon for you and you launch it and you'll get this okay so first you'll be setting up the color palettes and these shortcuts I'll link a video to that in the description because I learned this from another video so you can view that as well that will teach you how to set up these color palettes because initially all of these would be gray so you'll need to set up the colors over here and then these shortcuts it's a few easy steps so you can view that in the other video alright so first thing we need to do is create some layers so I'll add new layer 1 2 3 and 4 I've added 4 layers now I like to color these layers so the first one becomes black th and the second one and third one and all of them have since all of these were selected so all of them have been uh, I've changed the colors color of the background for the f all four of the layers all right simultaneously next I would like to select layer 1 and enter my signature so I'm uh, going to the text option and writing my name here and I should c select some other color over here my name goes in pink so Mariam so you can change the font you can change the side uh, you can change the size to whatever you like so just quickly my name goes here and this is layer 1 then for layer 2 I would uh, unselect the other layers and on layer 2 I would like to enter the topics name in white so I've selected white and now I'll write uh, angle properties of circle I like to change the font 
so let's say this and this and this and bold and font size 22 and then I would like to enter uh, date as well so let's say today is 29th of June and my date goes here so I'm done with layer 2 next I'll go on layer 3 I've selected layer 3 now I'll use the snipping tool and grab a question from my PDF file okay so I select the snipping tool and let's say I'd like to discuss question number 8 I'll copy it and paste it on layer 3 and then I'll select layer 4 and start solving it but select the pencil here start solving it and then when I'm ready for part 3 I'll just press control delete and it will only clear the layer 4 and then I'll write 3 and 4 and so on okay this was all about smooth draw I hope you found it to be useful I'll see you next time oh before I leave the most important thing I forgot to mention is that you need to save this template of course because you don't want to do the same thing from scratch so you'll just go to file and save and the next time and save it wherever you need to and the next time you need to launch the uh, smooth draw you'll open this template first and then you'll get the same setting the four the four layers would be waiting for you right there all right i'll see you next time take care bye